Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a market update. I'm doing an update here on the SPY because the SPY was very bearish today. And this is actually the first time that I've said this in looking at this chart for the last two solid months that I actually feel that the market is heavy here now today because it couldn't rally at all. I mean, actually, if you didn't short the market this morning, you had no entry to go short this market today. And around, I don't know, between 10 and 10.15 this morning, I said the market's not going to recover today. It's going to be red all day and power trend down. And that's exactly what it did. Usually, though, when the market trends in a strong directional trend up or down, it will give an entry to take it. Whether it's power trending up or power trending down, it'll at least give an entry, a reversal entry. Market did not do that at all today. I mean, literally. So let's go over it. This was a neutral gap, and that's how I read it this morning. And we were actually gapping down a couple of pennies, but it was neutral. Closed at 187.09, and we opened, oh, we actually opened exactly neutral. Oh, I'm just seeing this now. Oh, there, it was an exactly neutral gap. That is very rare. So rare that the market actually closes at the same place it opened. Gosh, that almost never happens. We actually were gapping down a little bit today, but I, I looked at it as neutral. I thought we would follow through higher today from the bias setup that occurred in the daily chart yesterday into the 50 period moving average. Low of this bar is 183.59. Oh my gosh, I think we're going to break this into the close. It's only 3 o'clock. No, this market is very heavy. I, I have to see how we close here today. It's one hour until the close. What, what, what happens, what transpires between now and actually 10 o'clock tomorrow morning is pretty significant here for this market. Because if this market can not hold this area right in here, it's going to pull in. It's going to pull in down to this area in here, which I thought it was going to pull in when we first started to come down. I was giving it to pull in there. But then when we held here so beautifully two days ago, Looked like it was really going to hold and rally back and make new highs. But today, this is very bearish. Very bearish market. Just didn't like anything today. Didn't like the economic data. Didn't like the minutes uh, announcement. Didn't like anything. Nothing at all. Jeez, we, we're going to break the low here into this close. Here it is. It's going to break it. This is very bearish. Wow. This is just selling, 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 selling. This is what selling looks like. This is, now, this is weak. This is what I'm saying. This is the first day in all the days. All the days that happen here, this is the first day I'm actually saying this is weak. This is heavy. And if the market breaks this level of support, it's going to come all the way down into here. Possibly here. It's just there's no let up here. 68, 59. No. Very interesting. It's just straight selling. Selling, 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 selling. I don't even think the market bounces here into the close. One hour left in the day. It's very likely the market's going to break the low of that tail here today. And when that breaks, because people bought in that yesterday and also the prior day, Market's gonna market's gonna fall. Market's gonna looks like it's gonna fall here right straight down, drop down into the close. And this is selling. So next area is far away. Far away. This, this could be a stream of bearish days here till the market rallies again. So the next level, here's all the levels. 180, 180, 40-ish. Actually 181. 181, 50, 181, 180. On 79.75, now the way down here to 178.50. The market must hold this area here, this bottom and tail at 183.59 today. If it doesn't, it's going to fall off the planet into a much, much deeper support, a very deeper support, because any of the other levels that the market would hold are far, far, far from here. And this really should have held, okay? It's actually triggering out of the buy setup. So the buy setup triggered here yesterday. Beautiful buy setup, gap up, nice bullish gap, gap up, 
over 185.41 and rallied way past where it could have even gone. I mean, actually went past the target, went to the dream target yesterday for the buy setup. It's a beautiful buy setup. But the market couldn't get going today. Didn't like any of the economic data that came out and just kept, the, as the selling started to go in and we started to trade down into itself here, and as the day went on, and this is what happens, as the day goes on and on and on and on and the market can't hold, it started to sell off. Oh, this is really tricky. 183.59, 183.68. Well, I just don't see any bounce in here before the close, but I have no idea where we're going to gap tomorrow. It depends where we close today. If we close and break the low of that tail there under 59.58, likelihood is we gap down tomorrow. Very high likelihood we gap down tomorrow. and could be a significant gap down in the market. Neutral or gap down. Low odds we gap up. And if the market somehow, somehow can survive here into the close, it's got 60 minutes left though, so doubtful. If the market can somehow survive not breaking this tail into the close, there's a possibility the market could gap up tomorrow and hold. Although I've got to say for the first time in, and I, since I can't even remember, for the first time in the longest time, this looks very, very heavy today and weak in the market. Doesn't mean that we're breaking the overall trend. Market's still in a bullish up trend. I still see the market holding the bullish up trend for the entire year of 2014, unless it does something to tell me otherwise, which is not just one red bar and not two red bars and not not any of this today. But for the intraday, for the short term time frame, if we break this low here, we're pulling in over the course of the next week to two weeks to a deeper support level. Although the market will still be in an uptrend. I'm a little surprised though, actually. Market just didn't like anything that came out today on any data at all and uh, just started selling off right here into the open and the gap because the gap was actually not uh, because the gap was neutral it should have gone right out of the gate here we are we're gonna fall here it's gonna break this aye, 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 aye. Oh, there's no let up here it goes Market's gonna break that area Market's going to break that area. Market's going to fall. Market's going to gap down tomorrow. This market couldn't hold itself up all day today. It's just, it's just very bearish. Because it should have held. Yeah. This is bearish. So I like to short. It doesn't mean you can short everything in the world. Just because the market's now going to be bearish probably tomorrow as well. Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah. But the size of the gap down is going to depend how it sets up. I mean, we could actually, tonight, here we go. It's going to break. Ten more cents. Look at this. Yep. It's too late. Too late in the day for the market to save itself now. Market is probably going to gap down, and the thing is, it could be big. So if the gap down is big, Oh, we can hold on today. I guess we we'll just have to wait and see. Look at this. It's trying. 183.59, 183.68. Gosh. All right, let's look at the one minute here. Actually, let's look at the 15. 15 minute, 245. 183.68. Three o'clock bar just started here, only a minute 33 into it. 183.68. Well, the market has to double bottom here in this 15 minute and hold to rally up into the close to try to do something that's non-bearish into the close and I don't see it happening. No, here we go. We just broke it. Under 68, 66. No. Nope. Oh, this is really, really, really bearish here. And if you look at this back from the other day, look. Everything looked great. Even all that stuff that happened in there looked great. Oops. No, we're trying to hold. 65 every penny counts every penny counts in here but it's just too 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 late in the day i think so if you shorted the market aggressively today out of the gate which there would have been no reason to do because we held so beautifully here we go just broke the low there that's it ay 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 now look at this here's the sell off look at that hard sell off here under 58 look at it there it went now market's going to gap down tomorrow and and i don't know what we do in the day because the gap down could be big there's no holding here now none this is all selling selling hard selling into the market but we're still in an overall bullish uptrend okay so i just want to be clear i'm shocked at the bearishness of the market today utterly utterly shocked 
because it means we're going to pull into a deeper area, a deeper area that we could have pulled into two weeks ago. And I was perfectly fine with that. But this was a strong hold that, that set up in here. So it should have continued higher. The fact that it didn't, though, means we are pulling in. No, look. Just mark is going to just fall right straight into the close. No let up today. I can't wait to see where we got tomorrow, so we'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. So when you're a trader, you have to trade and read stuff in real life time. Real life time in here because if you are in this market right now, uh, you're going to have to wait for a deeper pull in. And unfortunately, it's a long, 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 long way away. I don't see the market bouncing significantly here to the close. The only way we recover from this is if we have some kind of major bounce with a tail here into the close and gap up tomorrow. Doesn't doesn't look like it's shaping up that way because we still don't close for another hour. And the market just broke this tail here and it just can't show any signs of life this whole day. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Very bearish read in the market here today very bearish and I'm not just saying that for the day I'm I'm saying we could pull in much deeper here now this is unexpected I want to be clear the market is still in a bullish uptrend we are still holding the uptrend we're still in an uptrend we can still stay in an uptrend the rest of the year this doesn't mean we're flying off a planet but it does mean we're gonna have a deep pull in now this should not have happened today the market does not like anything here that it saw today and is selling off this is selling just pure unadulterated selling here all day long no entry, actually, unless you just shorted it in one minute. Only way this sets up for tomorrow to recover is if we close today into a tail, gap up tomorrow, or gap up, and we have to gap up like a lot tomorrow to save ourselves from this look here today, which is unbelievably bearish. There is some economic news out tomorrow morning that could make that happen, but doubtful. If we close looking like this, if it was 4 o'clock right now, I'd say gap down in the market, and it could be significant because the selling will continue post-market if we end up closing looking like this. Look at this. It's just going to fall out of the sky. Nothing's stopping it now. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. All right. Have a great day, everybody. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Look at this market. There's just nothing but selling now. Bigger, bigger, bigger pull in. Very unexpected, but you got to go with it. And since I love to short, I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> So we'll have to see where we got tomorrow. Tomorrow will tell us a lot about the market. But big sell-off here into the close, I see. No let-up. No recovery all day. Market has, you could count the green bars in the 15-minute. One, two, three, four. Four green bars in the 15-minute chart all day. Very bearish. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. This is the first day that I've actually felt a heaviness here in this market. Again, I want to reiterate, this does not mean we're changing trends. But it means that we are going to be in a temporary pull-in that is going to be deep. Deep, and I don't know where it stops. There's many, many different levels of support for this market here. But for the time being now, this is looking very bearish for tomorrow. Have a great trading day, everybody. Tomorrow, this is Melissa with thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.